Hello, uh, Steve Dean, lineandpencil.com. This is a fourth tutorial video on the Pygmy Chimpanzee, um, officially known in wildlife circles as the Bonobas type of chimpanzee. Um, already started the previous three videos um, from the start, um, outlining the lines here, and then this using the pan, pan pastel tool here which I'll be using again, be using on this tutorial as well. Um, a needed rubber or two, um, technical pencil, and a beautiful photograph of this chimpanzee. Loads of lovely detail. And um, I think we better got them. So, here we go. I'm just going to put in the eyes now. So I've already started a little bit. There's a lot of aging, it seems, and wrinkles around the eyes and the face in general, especially around here. I'm just trying to capture that onto the paper. And um, quite solemn look in his eyes, chimpanzee. Him looking quite sleepy, the uh, pupils, or just purely reflecting looking at us, at us human beings rushing around every day. Uh, let's see if we can capture that moment in his eyes as well. Big animals, the ape, but the chimpanzee, not an ape. This is a chimpanzee. There we go. Got a squidged up nose, a bridge of the nose there is quite flat. Um, Quite high there. And then slightly down on that side. And of course, <coughs> let's see, I zoom in a little bit more on the line or to give you a bit more detail. And then we got the curvature, or as I said before in the previous video, um, the chimpanzee's DNA is 98 match to us humans so there's a lot of um, detail in the photograph just to see the top and bottom lip and the chin and the gesture but again as I said before more uh, really accurate the knuckles and the fingers and the flesh you see my own fingers very similar fascinating stuff and the ears beautiful ears big big fleshy ears there and the hair hair growth Similar to so human hair. Right, let's crack on. And then I'm going to accentuate that eye and that wrinkle there, and a few more. And then there's a where the eye is just across and across there, and just around the wrinkle. Got a little bit of bag under his eyes, or is it? It's not dark though, is it? It's just the fleshiness of that. The orbicular um, round here, the orbicular orbicular muscle in a human. I don't know what it is called in a chimpanzee. Maybe it's similar. I'm not an expert anthropologist in this uh, in de describing this chimpanzee. Um, but it would, uh, I'm sure if we googled it, we would find out. We've got a bit of a heavy eyelid, haven't we? Quite fleshy from there. Then over there, rolled around, and then down to there. Same this side. And then round to the middle, the bridge of the nose. E equally, if you like, similar to again the human face, uh, the width of the eye is the width of the bridge of the chimpanzee's nose their own calculations I'd say. So the width of the eye is the same width there and again onto his left eye, the chimpanzees. I'll just give it a little bit more, a bit lower there. I'm not being too precious about this because of the time I'm aware of the video timeout is 4.59 so we're probably already on 2.30, 2.35 see what I can get in and maybe I'll have to make a, another last video just to get the further detail and the lightness around the eyes of the pupils that be 
I'll put them in anyway. In fact, that area is really low, the fleshy upper lid. in the bottom of the eyelid like a human it's actually closed and a little touch there we got some hair there so if we brush it away with a kneaded rubber it's quite handy this the kneaded rubber it gives it flakes out and can you put some striations as so and make the hair look more natural see that add and take away add and take away with the needed rubber and then we'll use a little touch of uh, pan pastel on this video uh, be adding more but just to give you a individual hairs really rather than a bunch of hairs so maybe that's a bit too heavy there but you get my drift um, they get the idea that's the word um again if it goes down there really it's flat against this the chimpanzee skull over the back there right at the top of the skull and then cranium top of the cranium bring it in it just goes round the ear what we'll do with them. I'll be taking some of this away with the kneaded razor as well, just to give that feeling of shape to the head. A bit rough at the moment, but the hair is quite, quite fine actually on the top. You see the whiteness of the flesh coming through. I'll be taking that off again. That off a little bit, and then a quick shadow just to emphasize or hint at the knuckle. Like that. And then on the thumb as well, and then a darker area around here. Where it goes right in under the orbicular muscle, an eye cavity. A little touch down, I think that'll be it for now. I'll probably be posting another video in the next hours or so, next 24 hours. There we go. Thank you for watching. Steve Dean, Linenpencil.com.